That's right, folks. Retro Reunion from IWC. It's hard to say, but man, it's easy to watch. Go and pick it up now at SorgatronMedia.com. Folks, welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You've done very well to find us, and you've done even better sticking with us this far into the show. Well done. Papa Lunchbox is proud of you. And as a reward, we're going to take you on a little trip down memory lane in a little segment that we like to call Remember When. Oh, oh, remember and when. And we're going to remember again. Everybody knows it's the best segment in town. We're going to sing it all around. Remember when. Remember when. Looking up his nostrils, remember when. Everybody loves the remember when. Time to remember when again. Folks, this week was in the UK. They have had some excellent, excellent shows in the UK. Um, due to their strong ties there. And they've employed some spectacular UK wrestlers. Uh, so in this week's Remember When, we are going to talk about our favorite British wrestlers. And fortunately for me, I get to kick things off with who I feel is one of the most underrated WWE wrestlers of all time. The supremely talented, fantastic character of William Regal. He is absolutely spectacular. Yeah, he got a bad hand with the he's a man, he's a man, William Regal stuff. But you know what? He made it work. He has put on incredible matches all the way up to most recently um, his match with uh, Cassius Ono, the recently released uh, uh, Chris Hero. And also I remember when he won the – I think it was the most recent King of the Ring, and he just went full villain. It was amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Sword, tell me, who's your favorite British? Well, it was, it was Wade Barrett until you took him. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I mean, I, I thought you were going to take Wade Barrett. Uh, it was with William <laughs> Regal until you took him. Um, let's go with the, you know what? I'll go Dynamite Kid on this one. Uh, innovator, really kind of, uh, uh, you know, one of the original, I want to say high flyers, but he was, uh, uh, that's a guy that I think never got his due as far as WWE goes. Like, I, I feel like that guy could have been uh, Steamboat Macho Man level, you know? Uh, and, I, and I'm not sure exactly what took him out uh, of the WWF, uh, if that's when he started having his physical ailments or not, uh, because I know he was part of the British Bulldogs, and then we had the British Bulldog. Uh, so so I'm curious about that. Uh, so, I, yeah, I, I go with Dynamite Kid, then. What about you, uh, Riz? Shit. Um, <laughs> I'll just go with Wade I don't Barrett. remember that. I'll just take the easy way out on this one. <laughs> Wait, That's Barrett. Rosie. That that man, he was the Mayo. superhero in that training. That man is think he was British, so. just a man. <laughs> he is. And he comes off good. That's he, it. Even though he's not booked well, he comes off good. He comes off as a badass. What about he comes you, off awesome because he is British. Okay. Exactly. What about you, Wills? I'm going to go old school. I'm going to go gentleman Chris Adams from wow. World Class Championship Wrestling. Hmm. I mean, I, I loved a lot of his work back then. I mean, and he's one of those ones besides Regal that you could get behind the accent and who wasn't American. Okay. Okay. What about you, Eamon? Uh, this is going to be a sort of interesting one. He's, I mean, he's not maybe up there with a Regal or anything like that. I actually really liked his work in TNA. Um, and he's done amazing stuff on the Indies uh, and like beyond. But uh, I was always a big fan of uh, Doug Williams. Mm -hmm. uh, he was always a really good technician to the point where like his run as like X Division champion I thought was really well um, for the most part. Uh, like delivering like really stellar matches like constantly. Um, I I always liked his work. I always thought he was a very uh, a very talented performer. So yeah, that's uh, the one I would probably go with. Awesome. What about you, Bobby? Uh, I'm I'm gonna go with one that uh, is not really that like he wasn't in WWE that long, um, and he had the potential to be something, but they kind of like messed it up with the one gimmick, which I I really enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna go with Paul Burchill. 
Okay. With with the yeah. pirate gimmick yeah. and, and, and Katie Lee virtual, you know. Yeah. Uh, I I just think he should have been in WWE a little bit longer than he was, but you know he was a good wrestler. I, I enjoyed his matches. Awesome. Uh, well, are you, Mike? Uh, well, I I thought Eamon was gonna take mine. I was gonna say Nigel McGuinness. Oh wow. Yeah. I I love love me some Nigel matches. Like I didn't watch much Ring of Honor, but what I did it was usually stuff with him and when he was in TNA it was very good as well. I'm surprised none of us mentioned Davey Boy Smith. <laughs> See, <laughs> I was going wasn't a really great to, uh, wrestler. I was, was he? going to, but then I was like, no, nah, go a different way with this, you know. <laughs> um he was just like one of those that was just there, right? Um, I was trying to stay away well, from Well, I, I disagree. Dave Davey definitely put on a lot of stellar performances he did. and 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 he's got he's got a huge reputation. I think he's the obvious pick. <laughs> Yeah, uh, when mm-hmm. you think of British wrestlers, I would think he'd be the first one that most people would sort of go to. Mm-hmm. Him and oh, Regal like, probably and also to. underrated Layla. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Layla. I forgot. I always forget Layla's British. Mm-hmm. She kind of fades in and out of it, doesn't she? They never play it up. No, they don't. They did once when she was with Regal. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was like what a week or week or two. <laughs> no, that was <laughs> probably. Like, no, that was, like, that was a while. That was a while. That was during that King of the Ring run that I mentioned. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, mm-hmm. And Regal turned off all the lights. That was great. Fucking sitting on that throne all angry like a heel. God, that was good. I remember that. <laughs> I, I remember that one specifically because she was supposed to be like a love interest for Jamie Noble. And then she turned and joined Regal and then cut a promo where she said she didn't want someone that was noble. She wanted someone with nobility. Wow. Regal. Wow. wow. What happened to Nidia? I'm a, I'm a Nidia. sucker for lines like that. Nidia. Nidia. Uh, from the chat room, we try to get her in, but I uh, like kick TKO. Uh, she says, uh, British includes Scotland and Wales. So Rob Terry. I mean Roddy Piper. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. I saw that. 